Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Alpine Stars SMX Plus V2 boots. Alpine Stars are well known now, really well known for making all sorts of bike clothing, but they started out in boots and their passion for what they started out in is still really clear to come through. And it's the same with these boots, which are a really popular and enduring boot that are great for both track riding and also for use on the road. The upper is made from microfiber. That's a synthetic leather that is light, it's durable, and it's also got a more consistent finish than you could achieve from something natural like leather. And as sports boots that are designed to be used on track or road, what really the key to that is flexibility. And this large accordion stretch panel down here across the front really boosts that flexibility for use in either discipline, track or road. There's a second large area of accordion stretch panel down the Achilles tendon section, which works in combination with the plastic brace. That's Alpine Star's multi-link control system, this plastic brace that gives you the flexibility you need while riding a bike and while walking. That's the kind of forward and backward flexibility, but it resists that dangerous lateral flex. It stops your ankle folding over in an accident. There's extra plastic protection around the shin with a small air vent here to allow some to flow through and keep your feet a little bit cooler. And then there's a heel wrap here with an insert that's removable and replaceable. Club racers, people who tend to crash almost for a living, need to be able to replace these and keep their boots going. So undoing these screws means you can slot a replacement section into there. And there are also small vented areas here to allow some excess heat to escape. As well as that heel section, there's a plastic box around the front. The idea being that that helps your toes stay safe against knocks and also against kind of crushing injuries if anything was to land on your toes there. The plastic gear change protector extends down to the sole, just protects the upper from any, any damage. And the sole itself is a stiff, sporty sole with a textured section around here that's designed to give you good grip against the foot pegs while you're riding and the sort that you want to, where you want to be able to move around on the bike, you can do that with this, with this sole. The toe sliders are replaceable. They're a dual density plastic slider and undoing this screw in the top allows you to just pull that slider away and replace it with a, with a new one. It's a two millimeter Allen key required to undo that screw and having that screw in the top there means it's unlikely to be damaged if you grind this slider away on the side of the track. You'll still be able to remove them and replace them with a new one. The main fastener of the boots relies on three essential elements. The first one is this motocross style clasp at the top. It's a plastic toothed slider that goes inside this metal clasp around the calf. And what that allows is a finite amount of adjustment to suit your calf shape. Undoing that reveals a panel here where the zip puller Velcro tab can be held. What that does is it stops this tab from sliding back down the zip and also means it can sit flat and you can keep it securely protected behind that plastic wrap. Undoing that zip shows the wide entry into the main boot and it also reveals Alpine Star's lock lace system. Pull this inner section around your ankle and then tighten it with the lock lace so that sits more closely around your ankle and gives you a more fine feel than you'll get by just having the zip and the clasp at the top. The tab on the end of the lace secures on the same panel as the zip puller sits on and then again is protected behind here. In my experience, you can leave that tab there and still run this system. You don't need to be taking that off and on all the time, which is quite handy. When you do this zip back up, this accordion stretch panel here gives about six millimeters of extra flexibility. So that helps to accommodate different sizes of ankle and then fasten the tooth, clasp back up, and the boot start. On the inside of the boot, you'll see the CE label, which shows that it meets the latest CE standards. It's been safety tested, 
and it meets level two for height. It's quite obvious just by looking really, this is a full height boot, so it's got level two in that regard. And then it meets level two, the higher, in two of the technical tests that it goes through. So it meets level two for resistance to abrasion and also to cuts. Then it meets the more basic level one in resistance to transverse rigidity. The idea of that is a boot's ability to protect you against crushing forces in this direction, the sort you might get if your foot is trapped between your bike and the floor. So it meets level one for that test. The insole for these boots is designed to give good support for the arches while also giving lots of feel. It's a thinner in this section around the toes that you're going to be using to have contact with the foot pegs and also with the gear lever and the brake lever while you're riding. So it's designed to do that and that insole can also be replaced. As I said, the SMX Plus boot's been around for a long time. These V2s have been around for a couple of years now and they're really popular with the customers who've bought them. They've had a good amount of customer reviews and everyone's very complimentary, especially about the comfort. One of the people who bought these boots described them as like wearing slippers, which is quite impressive really when you consider that this is a sporty boot that's designed to be stiff and supportive rather than designed to be walked around in. So the fact that people can be so complimentary about the comfort is definitely a positive for these boots. I hope that gives you a really good picture of what the SMX Plus V2 boots are all about. But if there's anything you feel we've missed, please pop a question in the comments section below and we'll get back to you with an answer as soon as we can. Thanks very much for watching.